I got to a point in my life where I got tired. So I'm getting on the plane, right? And I'm walking all the way to the back like I, like I got to move so they can get to the bathroom. I'm saying to myself, like, why I got to keep passing first class? Like, why can't I never sit in first class? Like, I'm not envious of nobody. I'm not jealous. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be like nobody. I'm just like wondering, like, why I got to keep passing first class? Like, what, what's going to happen one day where I can sit in first class? Like, what, why am I not in first class? Like, why they put me all the way in the back? Like, why am I, like, got a four-hour layover when I, like, they fly me from here to there to here to get back to here. I'm like, why well, can't you just fly straight? Why am I not in the five-star hotel with the concierge? You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't I get a concierge? Why can't I get the place with the bread? Like, what's... Why is his wife driving a European vehicle and my wife? I got tired. I said, one day I'm gonna fly first class. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't even like into that like y'all think, right? But I just love when my whole family, we all sitting in first class. And where I come from, they where I come from, we don't fly first class. Not my whole family flying first. They like, which Mr. Tom, this is the premiere. You might be in the net. I'm like, no, we're in this section right here. I'm not like caught up into that kind of stuff. But I'm grateful that my wife can finally sit in first class and get a meal. My children are in first class, and this is not a standard. I'm grateful that my son is going to college and he doesn't have to take out a loan. I got tired. I got tired of being like giving 70 and 80 percent and not living the way I wanted to live. And this guy got tired. He started crying. He like, y'all want to, Shaq is winning. I see the Spurs winning. I see Chauncey Billups with his new team. I see other people winning and I'm not winning and I want to be a winner and I'm tired and I got tired y'all so I did something about it. I woke up every day and started grinding. I was tired. I was tired looking at my wife. My wife was looking at homes. She looked at a home that was like $50 million. Like what you looking at a $50 million house for? She like goals. I'm like what kind of goals? She like you're going to have to work a little harder. Like my wife is not on that. Like she used to be cheap. She want to hold on every dime. Now she's talking about living in fifty million dollar homes. What happened? I started giving one twenty, and so my wife started giving one twenty. She got on that new drug, and she changed her diet, and now we working out every day, and it's a whole new swag. So I need y'all to do me a huge favor. I need you to get tired. You in this room? You in this room? You just you feeling me? Like yo, eat real. I'm doing the seventy. I know I got one twenty in me. I'm doing the 80 as a real estate. Like for real, you in real estate, right? And you're looking at other people like, why are they getting those checks? And like you think they're human, just like for real. Do you know what bothered me the most? Is that there were there were there were human that was doing this. I, for real, that's what bothered me the most. What bothered me the most was like, yo, I'm walking past first class. It wasn't robots in first class. There were other humans in first class. I'm like, they human beings in first class like me. Like I'm looking at these homes like, yo, that's a, that, that, they just drove in, that's another human. What's the difference between my man and me? The effort that he gives, the information that he has, the effort that he gives, the information that he has, the effort that he gives. Yep, and what I discovered, I'm gonna get off of this. But what I discovered was that you don't have to be born in a certain neighborhood you don't have to be born in a certain family. You don't have to have a so certain social economic status. It only takes one thing to get what you see other people have that you want. And it's called, it's called effort.